been the gold standard uh, way to assess a patient's cardiac function. Uh, but typically in the past, it's only been available to uh, cardiologists or cardiac anesthesiologists who uh, go through fairly long and involved uh, training and typically involves uh, complicated and expensive uh, equipment in order to be able to get these high quality images of a patient's heart. So what we've developed is a miniaturized disposable transesophageal echo probe which is for the purpose of being able to hemodynamically manage patients over a period of time, for instance, in critical care situations or perioperative situations. So this is specifically optimized and designed for the intensive care physician to be able to manage their patients uh, in the ICU. The purpose of bringing HTE technology into the ICU or perioperative situations is to be able to directly visualize patient's cardiac function where and when you need it. Uh, so to be able to accomplish that, what we've done is focused on giving the physician the ability uh, to do this uh, very quickly and very easily with a minimum of training and, and education. Uh, and so we focus on uh, two views in particular to accomplish this goal. So there's a mid-esophageal four-chamber view and there's a transgastric short-axis view. And with those two views, the physician is typically able to get uh, pretty much all the information that they need to manage the patient over a period of time. One of the main optimization that's been done here is to have a very small, thin, and flexible probe. So this probe is uh, about the size of a 17 to 18 French OG tube. One of the advantages of having a small and thin and flexible tube like this as a TE probe is that it allows the physician to leave this probe indwelling for up to a maximum of 72 hours. Our group invented a way of taking this small disposable TE probe and actually detaching it from the handle. Uh, so the probe detaches from the handle and there's only one machine and one handle that's needed and the machine can be wheeled out of the room. This is now continuously available uh, for the physician to come back, hook it back up and get another set of images in these management views and then compare over time. So that affords a uh, a few very important advantages for HTE, hemodynamic TE, as opposed to any other way of being able to assess these patients over a period of time. Suppose that the probe is now in the stomach and my fingers represent the lower esophageal sphincter where it crosses into the stomach and I flex the tip of the probe like this, there's a fairly long reach to it. That might be appropriate for a man patient who's you know six foot two and 225 pounds but let's say you have a patient who's a woman and who's five feet tall uh, and only weighs a hundred pounds so you just withdraw the probe a little bit and now my fingers are where the lower esophageal sphincter is and I flex it yet again and it has a very short reach to it what that does is it makes it extraordinarily easy or even uh, an intensivist to be able to go back and get the appropriate imaging plane to get this transgastric short axis view over and over again, in, even in different patients. As the world's first um, hemodynamic TE device, uh, this Clarity probe provides the ability for physicians to directly visualize a patient's cardiac function over a period of time, but in addition allows them to manage multiple patients in the ICU over a period of time. That's the first time that that's ever happened.